Now, Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad, you know, still holds a tight grip on power in his country, despite the four-year-old devastating civil war and the rise of the Islamic State. When the embattled Syrian leader was interviewed in an interview that aired last night on 60 Minutes, and he had this to say when he was asked by Charlie Rose whether he would ever give up power. When I don't have the public support, when I don't represent the Syrian interests and values, I don't determine, I sense, I feel, I'm in contact with them, I'm a human. How, how can a human make direct relation with the population? So what does Al-Assad want? Well, Alan Combs is the host of Alan Combs Radio Show, nationally syndicated by Fox News Radio, and Tammy Bruce, a radio talk show host and Fox News contributor. Alan and Tammy, good to see you. Morning. Hey, Eric. Tammy, let me start with you. Uh, you know, giving an interview is one way to send a message, and what I was struck with last night was that he said he wants a dialogue with the U.S., and this comes like, what, two weeks after John Kerry said that we were going to have to negotiate with him. Do you think that was his intention to send a message to the White House? Well, I think it tells you a lot when this guy's a busher and he feels he can make some headway by reaching out to the American people because of the weakness of the current administration's uh, foreign policy. So he, this is in this interview, he praised and essentially associated himself with Russia and Iran. Uh, he then notes that he was happy with the Kerry's outreach effectively for a negotiated solution. It tells you, and, the, and this is why I think the interview was good. It reminds the American people that the butchers and tyrants of the world are awfully happy with what's going on and have some level of confidence uh, it, it is also, though, of course, problematic in some degree in the, in the fact that it's not wide-ranging. A lot of the headlines today, Eric noted that he was b being grilled by Charlie Rose. I didn't see that so much, but I don't think he really needed to grill uh, this tyrant in order for the American people to see what was up. It seemed more like a, a polite or a kind of gentle probing. Alan, is it, did you see that way in the no, interview? No, I thought that, uh, first of all, uh, with all due respect to Tammy, uh, he didn't do the interview simply because Obama's a weak president or say the things he said because Obama's a weak president. He was a butcher long before Barack Obama came into power. And as far as uh, Charlie Rose, he said, look, are you legitimate? Uh, do you have the support of the, uh, you're supposed to be the determinator, whether you're the, uh, you have the support of the Syrian people. Are you going to allow inspections in? Uh, you know, are you going to give up power? I thought those were excellent questions. It wasn't a softball interview at all. You know, it seemed like an Alice in Wonderland uh, moment, not, not pointing to Charlie at any, uh, on that. But look, at one point he was talking about his support and, and, and Tammy saw a time about, well, he has the support of the Syrian people. That he, had, yeah. he mentioned George Bush and George H.W. Bush. Look, this is a guy, a government, horrendous humanitarian catastrophes, barrel bombing his army, mm. their own people. He sat there, yeah. sat back and denied it, said it's all propaganda. Yeah, well, and look, television and that kind of imagery is very important. Uh, he, of course, is uh, reaching out. I think this is, tells you he's not reaching out to the Obama administration here. He's reaching out to the American people. Uh, he it spoke English, uh, which I think is very important uh, in, in that regard. I, I also, though, find it fascinating, though, that he, he, he believes that this is going to work, and, and I think that's kind of what the concern should be. Uh, also, Charlie Rose had some limitations. He had to use a Syrian crew, use Syrian cameramen, so he was, I think, somewhat limited in exactly what he could do while he was there and get that material out of the country. Of course, this was in Damascus. So Rose was somewhat limited. I do think it was beneficial, but in all honesty, I don't think, uh, and, and with all due respect to my pal Alan, uh, this is done because Assad sees a weakness. They see the fact that, look, look what we're doing with Iran. Maybe he can get the same kind of deal. Well, he did take a page from, from President Obama, Alan and Tammy, when he said, if it bleeds, it leads. I mean, that man, oh man, that is a, as an old local TV news reporter, that we've heard that for a generation <laughs> yeah. at President Obama, put that in the international lexicon, uh, talking about the trouble in the Middle East, blaming the media, Alan. He's got the, 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 he's got the logo. I mean, he's got the lingo down. Look, the, the uh, president is serious, saying if it bleeds, it leads. Uh, what is it the Columbia School of Journalism? Look, this is a guy we're actually fighting with now against ISIS uh, because we uh, for, just remember two years ago when Obama mentioned the red line and oh my God, we got to go in now. He's got to live up to that. We've got to go after Assad. And now it turns out there are so many different factions in Syria. We're actually on his side fighting ISIS at this point in Syria. So isn't he really an ally at this point? Well, I, it, I think that illustrates the chaos. 
I of mean, it, it illustrates the chaos that's been created by Obama's so-called foreign policy. Oh, we're no, fighting no, 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 with no. Iran. We're fighting against Iran in he some places. We're supporting Obama the attacks in Yemen. This. We're supposed to support uh, Assad. Look, this is foreign policy by throwing a noodle up on the fridge. It's chaos. It's amazing to me that no matter what happens, no matter what the issue is, uh, conservatives will find a way to blame Barack Obama and or his foreign well, policy is, but for everything that goes on. But, but Alan, we've got a butcher, a man who's murdered tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people, going on American television, seeming rather strangely confident. I think that does speak about Obama's foreign policy, had, don't you? We've had butchers in the world, no matter who's been president, no, let's talk about this doing, one. doing interviews and talking about what they talk you about know, this and one. try to present. But the point is, you're holding Obama to a different standard no. than any other butcher and any other no. president that we've ever had. I'm holding him to a standard that let's not make the tyrants and the butchers of the world particularly happy and make our all of our allies not trust us. I he think that's a very bottom ally. line standard. He is our ally as long as we're fighting ISIS well, in that's Syria. Well, that's what tells that's you everything Obama's you need to know. Fault. But that, yes, it is. That tells you everything you need to know. When when a butcher like Assad suddenly is the ally because the Middle East is in chaos because Obama it's in doesn't chaos want to because engage. because we never have gone there in the first place because ISIS oh, arose out of fault. Al Qaeda in Iraq. Now it's something that wouldn't fault. have happened had we not started that war. <laughs> well, <laughs> when it comes to media, this is what's great about that interview, though, because this conversation then has to happen. So no matter what Charlie Rose did, and the media headlines have been about how he says ISIS is growing, uh, we can't trust what Assad says, of course, but I think that it's an important conversation you, you, to let's, have. You have to remember, we're out of time now, that, that uh, he has a message, Al Assad does. He, it, it is, in a sense, propaganda that he wants to get that out. And you have to recall, it is a horrendous, overwhelming humanitarian crisis and catastrophe that is happening now to the Syrian people and he is very much uh, partly to blame for that and the full interview yeah. the whole hour on Charlie Rose's PBS program for people to decide Tammy and Alan thank you thanks guys